Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video you will learn how to use the weight attribute in Android. But before we start using the weight attribute let us first understand why we require the weight attribute. Now suppose you make an Android app and in this app you place three components one below the other without any spacing. Then your application will look something like this. Now if you try to view this app on other higher end devices then the entire layout will not look that good because there is no spacing between the components. Now you can add spacing between the components using the margin attribute but again the spacing will look uneven when the app runs on bigger devices. So if you want to add equal spacing between all the components and the spacing ratio should be maintained across all higher end devices then we will require the weight attribute. Similarly, weight attribute can also be used for having proportional spacing between the component wherein one component can take the maximum size of the screen and the other components may take the minimum size. And this same layout will be maintained across all other Android devices. So without wasting much of a time, let's see how to use the weight attribute. Now, once I'm inside the Android Studio, I'll first reset the components so the text view button and edit text are one below the other. So basically, I'll remove the margins that I've applied to all the three components. Next, if I return to the design tab, you can see that all the components are placed one below the other. Now, I'll add the weight attribute to the topmost component that is the text view. So I'll go inside the text tab and inside the text view tab, first I'll change the height from wrap content to 0 dB. Okay, this is very much important when you want to use the weight attribute. You need to change the height or the width equal to 0 depending on whether you are applying the weight attribute horizontally or vertically. This time, since I am applying the weight attribute vertically, so I will make the height 0. Next, below it, I will write down weight. So, once I have typed weight, it has given me Android layout weight attribute and I will set it equal to 1. So, the value for the text view is 1. Now let's see how this looks in the design tab. So you can see over here the text view is basically occupying the maximum height of the screen and the button and the edit text are occupying the height that is remaining. Okay. Next if I go to the text tab and if I set a background color, so I've set a background color of ABCDEF and if I go to the design tab you can see over here the text view is occupying this much height so I'll change the width to match parent so that you can see it properly. I've changed the width to match parent and if I click on the preview from here you can see this much height is basically occupied by the text. Next I'll add the weight attribute to the button in the edit text. So inside the button I'll change height to 0 dB. Next. Android layout weight, I'll set it equal to 1 and lastly for the edit text again I'll do the same thing. So you can see over here the text view button and the edit text have now divided the entire height of the screen equally amongst themselves. If we do a simple math 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3 okay so basically all of them are occupying one third of the screen. Next, if suppose I go inside the weight attribute of the button and if I change this one to 5, you can see over here the button is now occupying a larger height because if you do the calculation 1 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 7. So the button is now occupying 5 by 7 of the screen and the text view and the edit text are occupying 1 by 7 of the screen. Okay. Similarly, if I change this to 8, 8 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 10. So the text view and the edit text are occupying one tenth of the screen and the button is occupying 8 by 10 height of the screen. Now I'll reset the weight of the button to 1 again. So guys, the design of the linear layout example is not looking that good. So maybe I'll change the width of the button. Match parent. So now as you can see, this looks a little better because the text view button and the edit text are occupying the entire width of the screen and they have divided the height of the screen 
amongst themselves equally into one by three parts. So guys, basically I'll stop over here in this video. If you guys want, you can go ahead and play with the weight attribute. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. And guys, as always, if you want to learn Android from scratch, do click on the subscribe button. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.